Next up is Art Speed with Marie Yanaka. Hi, Marie. Hi, Aki. Sho. Hello. So last week, uh, we ventured into the world of J-pop with the idol group Momoilo Clover Z. This week, we're going to the other side of the musical spectrum. Classical as played by violinist Sayaka Shoji. It's a big difference from last week. Eh? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I recall that um, she made a name for herself by winning a big international competition at, at an early age. Yes, she did. And now she's based in Paris, performing with orchestras and in recitals across the globe. This year, she has played in 14 cities so far, for example, Sao Paulo, Doha, Warsaw, and now she's back in Japan. I talked with her during her tour. Sayaka Shoji displays depth of expression and formidable technique in concert halls around the world. She performed the Sibelius Violin Concerto with the NHK Symphony Orchestra in February, in celebration of the 150th anniversary of the composer's birth. The piece is known to be technically challenging, and she rose to the occasion. Pavo Yarvi conducted. He's a regular presence with orchestras in Europe, North America, and Asia. With uh, Pavo, we have worked uh, several times, so it's very easy to work with. Like the third moment, uh, it, when I told him that I liked the slow tempo, he's very open to this idea, and I appreciate. Uh, playing with him values in this special year. At the age of 16, Shoji became the youngest person ever to win the Paganini International Violin Competition. It's known as a gateway to success for violinists. She believes a performer has the responsibility of conveying the mood the composer intended. In order to do that, she researches the aesthetics, philosophy, and general mindset of the era in which the piece was written. Shoji has been touring Japan with pianist Gianluca Cascioli. They've recorded all the Beethoven violin sonatas together. featured Stravinsky's Sweet Italienne. He wrote the piece for the ballet Polcinella, first performed in 1920. There are many ways of researching the modern composers. Uh, sometimes they're a recording of himself. When Stravinsky conducts uh, this, we watched uh, the DVD of him conducting. Um, he's trying to interpret it uh, very dry and very unromantic. And um, that's the approach we try to.
from Stravinsky, they moved to a violin sonata by Ravel, a very different kind of composition. In the second moment, he uses jazz, uh, blues element. And that, all that is influenced by somewhere else. Yet it is very Ravel. So, um, yeah, the opportunity for young people to listen to a concert or to be in touch. And, and also, they should know that classical music is not something that is um, difficult or for limited people. But all you need is curiosity. I was so in awe during her concert, and so was the rest of the audience. You know, she told me that she feels uh, classical music is more popular in Japan than in Europe. Okay. She thinks it's maybe because a lot of Japanese people receive a solid musical education. Well, maybe less than in the past, but there's still many kids learning to play the piano. Mm. Mm. I did too. Uh, you did? How yes, about you? I also learned the piano. You see? Young. But even so, like, well, in, in the busy times nowadays, we, we tend to lose time or forget time to listen to classical music, don't we? Like, so. Why don't we put job aside and, and <laughs> listen to Mozart or Beethoven? That's a great idea. I mean, it's going to be the weekend. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Marie. Thank you. <laughs>